The term generic signals something plain, while the term custom means specific or unique. There are many stream graphics packages available that fall in the general category, some free and some that are reasonably priced. And there are ways to take those general graphics and make them custom for your show. And today, we'll show you how to do just that using my favorite graphics tool, Canva. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach, and on this channel, I show you how to use live streaming to grow and engage an audience, to funnel clients to your business, and to establish yourself as a thought leader. And today, we're looking at how to customize your stream graphics using Canva. Let me start by sharing. There are many places to purchase generic stream graphics, uh, and I'll list a few here for you. You might want to check them out. StreamerTemplates.com, definitely a great one. StreamArtStudio.com, I've used some from there before. Merch.LivestreamingPros.com, and that's the one I use for Ecamm. And then my personal favorite, KirkRNugent.com slash graphics. We'll use the red and black graphics package from my site for our example today. So let's dive in. So here we are on my website, kirkarnugent.com slash graphics. And this is the page that you can go to to grab a graphics package. They are $29.99, so just $30. Uh, there's a vibranium package, there's the lime, there's sunset, there's the black and red, or so red and black, that's the one we're gonna use today. And then there is the blue and gold. So those are the ones that are there. And when you purchase them, uh, you will be you know, prompted to create a login and that login will take you to this page. This will be one of the pages, one of the areas that you'll have access to on my site. And you will then be able to just go ahead and download these graphics packages. You click here and it'll open this up and you have the countdown, you have all these different graphics that you can pull down from this site. Now, that is a process that you'll have to go through regardless of what you wanna use. If you're using my site, if you're using one of the others that we showed earlier, pull those down, upload them into Canva so that you can now start the process of customizing them. So here you're seeing that I have all of them uploaded into Canva along with my church logo and some other stuff that I think I'll need for our design. The beautiful thing is that this is like having a, a, a base to work from, right? Somebody has already built the foundation. Somebody's already designed the house. You're just simply personalizing it, making it yours. You ever been into a neighborhood where there is several different model houses that you can buy from? Well, no two model houses are going to be the same because the owners of the house are going to put their special touch on it. And that's what we're doing here by customizing these graphics packages. So right here we have the base, which is the uh, background the background graphic and what i'm going to do right off the top is to put the logo in the middle and i love canva because it has that center line that i can use and there it is right there so i'm going to make this a bit smaller i definitely want to have this prominently placed but i don't want it to be overbearing and so that top line right there i want it to be about right there and I'm putting this here and it's going to be something that I can copy and paste onto some of the other uh, graphics as we go along. So that's there. The next thing I want to do is get some text. So I hit the T button to get some text. And I, 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 our, our church service is called Virtual Church. So we'll get that typed in there. And I'm going to make that. Uh, we'll do some effects here. We want to make that capital. Uh, we want to make that italics. And then we're going to select uh, open sans for for this text. So open sans with bold is what we're going to select for this text. So that's what we're going to have here, a virtual church. Um, and we're going to put that somewhere in the bottom here, but we're going to group it all together. So make it a little bit bigger. But that's that's what we want next to that. Next to that, I'm going to put the Facebook logo. Let's put that down here a little bit. You see how it, it kind of grabs that center line. I hope you can see that. Boom, there's that center line there. And then we'll do the YouTube logo as well. Size that down some. Trying to center that on the other one. We definitely want it to match in size. And 
want it to be up a little closer. All right, so we have those two there now. Next thing I wanna do is get another text line. It's just hit T and I want to put my church uh, website here. So the bridge, FCC.com. And for that, for the website, I'm going to use a uh, different, different text. We're gonna take off the italics. Let's make that Montserrat classic and we'll make it a little smaller. Drop it right underneath. The, there we go. So put that there looks like our Facebook logo might need to make that a little bit smaller. This is if anybody has done any designing before, this is the this is the, the crux of the work. It is just fine tuning and getting everything where you want it. Um, I still want these two to be up a little bit higher to match and maybe bring them in a little tighter. Sometimes it's easier to use your keyboard to set that up. So now we have these and the idea is to highlight all of them and then group them. So now that I have them grouped, I can put it right here in the corner. And for the most part, I think this is basically how I want this design to look for my graphics package. I've got my logo. I've got the name of our, our service. I've got the website. I've got Facebook and YouTube on there. So this is how I want this to look. Let's add a page. And in this page, we're going to do um, our first overlay. And so sometimes you can pull it on by clicking it, but other times you just want to pull it on by making sure it takes over the whole thing. This area in the middle is going to be transparent. So that's where the person who's on screen will be seen. So we want to, again, do something similar, but since there, this, there's no space for the logo at the top, let's go ahead and pull that on here, and bring it in on the bottom, and we'll just leave it as the bridge right there. So we'll have the bridge there, and we'll come here, we'll copy this, copy that, and paste it here, and maybe just make it a little smaller to fit in the corner. That's what the beauty of setting it up one time and not having to worry about it again. And so, yeah, we have that situated. And if you want, you could put the logo in the bottom right and then put the virtual church thing in here. It doesn't matter. There's not a wrong way, but I do like to make sure that my stuff is centered. So I think here it is centered. And so that one is done as well. Let's add another page uh, here. We're going to do some of our other graphics. These are these all come in the package. So again, we're going to just grab these, copy them, come down here, paste them. And, and now we have that customized. Let's go through here again, live streaming or starts in, or oh, let's do this one. Thank you for watching. All right. Boom. Paste that one. Again, we're customizing them because we want to make sure that people know, hey, this is this is our church. And I'm using the my church's logo and their color scheme because I think it works well with the red and black. You want to select a graphics package that works well with your logo or with your colors or with your brand. So that's we've got those there and those are looking good so far. So good. Let's uh, let's go ahead and add our two shot. Our two shot. Boom. Look at that. It works for the two shot as well. Let's go ahead and add. You're seeing that this is this is rapid now. We're moving a lot quicker than we were earlier because the main work was done in the initial design. I'm gonna paste that. Now, this doesn't necessarily work, but what I'm gonna do is just put this to the side a little bit and bring my logo down here. Maybe pull that up some and pull this up some and we'll just have that sit to the side like that. So again, we're just designing based on what we have available. Let's do our four shot. Here is our four shot. And we have uh, a circle in the middle that I think we can use for our logo. So we're gonna paste here again. Uh, this time, probably gonna delete this. And we're gonna try and fit this into the middle. Um, it is gonna be tiny but it still kind of adds a little bit of 
you know, customization. I love this four shot design because it is it is specifically designed for uh, the person the person who purchased it to be able to put their logo inside. So uh, really cool setup here. Definitely something that you you want to take advantage of. So that's how that's going to look. We don't have anything else on the screen, but it still feels like this is something custom that was made specifically for this entity. Let's keep going here. We, we're moving really good. Let's do our five shot. And here we can go control V again. That works perfectly. Let's do again. Let's do our six shot. And that's all the the graphics that this thing comes with. The only other thing that we want to uh, do here is to upload our transparent lower third, our transparent lower third. And again, you want to make sure that, that literally all that white space on the screen is transparent. So that's all there. That's cool. And now what we want to do is uh, go ahead and hit control V again. That's just going to put all the stuff on the screen for us, but not necessarily where we're going to use it. I'm going to put, pull our logo into this part right here. I think that is a great place for our logo to fit. I think it fits there nicely. What do you guys say? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm going to ungroup this one and I'm going to actually get rid of the virtual church. Uh, I think that we are going to just use the bridge FCC.com here and probably make that a little smaller. Um, but even as we make it smaller, I kind of want to make the text line spacing a little bigger. There we go. So we have that there. Designing sometimes is not an exact science. So I um, had to fast forward that a little bit because I don't want to make this video 40 minutes, but you can see what we have here now. I'm going to hit T again. And this time we're going to use uh, Code Pro. So we're going to make some changes to this text that we do want to make that upper and lower case. We don't want it bold or italic and we want this to be Code Pro. So let's go to Code Pro. And again, there's no right or wrong here. I like to use Code Pro for my actual, you know, the name of the person that's going to be on the show. Let's make that a little smaller elongate that a little bit you always want to design it in case you have to come in and, and make a change for somebody whose name is pretty long so we want to design it for that and of course we want to change this to white so let's change that to white and let's go Kirk Nugent there and boom that's in the middle and that's how that lower third will look and that's the last of our items that we need to look at here in the system. The next thing we want to do is export these items as transparent items. So one thing I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to move this one down uh, below here. So these one, uh, we want to name them as well, right? So let's get this going background. This is our background, all right? Then we have this. This is our... BRB screen. You can name them however you want. Um, this is our thanks for watching. All right. And then, so this is our one person overlay, right? One person. All right. So, and you can use it with a cropped one as well. This is two, two camera overlay, three camera overlay there's a reason why i'm doing this because if, when you when you download them from canva uh it will have this name that you're putting in the description as the file name so you definitely want to do that and then you, here, because this is specific, you'll have to change this name every time you have a show. So I'm actually going to put Kirk LT for lower third. And so those are all the ones. And the thing that you want to do now is you're going to download the first three. You're going to download them as you can leave them as PNGs, but you don't need them to be transparent. So we're going to uncheck this one. We want the background, the BRB screen, the thanks for watching screen. All three of those, we want to download those as PNGs, but they don't necessarily need to be transparent. So we're done here and we say download. 
and that's going to kick off that download. It's going to put those into a zip file and you'll have to extract that zip file to be able to pull out those three files from that zip file. Click download again. We want to go here. I usually check and then uncheck to get rid of everything. And then what we want really, actually, it's probably easier to check it and then uncheck the background, the BRB screen. Thanks for watching all the others. One, two, three, four, five, six person overlays plus Kirk LT. We want those to be transparent. So we simply select transparent background and we say download. And then so next thing I'm going to do right here is to take those files, unzip them and upload them into StreamYard as our example. But these files will work in Ecamm, in Restream, in uh, several of the other platforms that are out there because they're all sized the same and the dimensions work for where the cameras will sit on screen. So let's look at that in StreamYard. So here we are in StreamYard and I'm gonna just, I've uploaded a couple of the ones that we did already, but I'm gonna show you uploading them, uh, the uploading some of the final ones that we have left here. And the ones that I have left are the thanks for watching, the BRB screen and the background. Uh, so the background I don't need here. I need to upload that into a different section. We're over uploading into the overlays right now. Thanks for watching and be right back screen. And I wanted to show you also that you can do multiple at a time, which does make it very easy. So while that's uploading, I'm actually going to go here and upload the background. Let's get the background uploaded. Boom. And one of the things that I want to say here is it's it, the reason why we design in the way that we do uh, to be able to cover over the 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 logo and the bat, the uh, the church name and all that stuff in the same way as it has been designed in here. So it almost looks like I really haven't done anything. I just added the thank you for watching, but I'm really putting a full overlay on top of the background here again. You'll see the same thing similar for even like our two graphic see that that kind of shifts a little bit but it but that is is how it will look for you as well when you're doing your designs i've got two cameras in the system here i'm going to add them both to the screen and so here you have it cropped we could use the the cropped overlay and you can see how that looks um, or we can change this to the two shot and we can use this two graphic overlay and you can see how that looks and again this is giving you that nice clean design of how you want it to look when you're in the system. If I go to a single uh, layout, I could use the one camera. Um, I could use that, the one person overlay. But since I already have one specific for me, I'm going to use that one, right? This is the, the transparent overlay that we, we did a second ago with the bridge logo, my name. Facebook, YouTube, thebridgefcc.com. And that is all of our designs in a nutshell. Um, I'm excited about sharing this with you, not only because we have graphics packages on our site, but also because this can be a method for you to be able to customize your stream graphics to make them work for your brand. In the beginning of our video, we spoke about two terms, generic and custom. There's a third we must consider as well, which is the standard. When something is the standard, it signals a rule by which everything else is measured. Having custom graphics needs to become your standard as it is one of the most basic steps in branding. Let me know in the comments below, what are some of the live stream standards that you adhere to, right? Who do you look for? I have a few, but one that is in, has influenced my live show design is a guy named Quan59, and his YouTube channel is Gorilla Cross. I'm gonna leave that in the description so you can check him out too. Over the next few months, we'll develop four to five new playlists on the channel here, and their focus areas are audience, business, authority, video, and remote production. Each one will share how live streaming can be used to have major impact. Be sure to subscribe so you can take this journey with us. As always, it's your boy Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that somewhere in the video today, we got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. And we'll see you in the next video.